two AL Central rivals. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Detroit Tigers. Next on 2K Sports. We'll see Miguel Cabrera on a mission today looking for a W. A beautiful place for baseball in downtown Detroit, Comerica Park. Glad to have you join us. Tuesday night edition of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. It will be Justin Verlander, the starting pitcher. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, when the hitters see that they've got Justin Verlander out on the mound to start the ball game, they have some real concern because they know about his quality stuff. The curveball at times is unhittable. He's got the cutter that it can run in on the hands and a fastball at 98 or 99 miles per hour. There's not a lot of ways to get to him. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting Big John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, the potential's there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. It's Johnny Damon. Well, the loss last night for the Tigers. Not a good run for them right now. They've dropped their last four. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike for the swing. The last one they gave up way too many runs. Not good pitching. No, and their pitching just got destroyed in this game, and that was why they lost. Drop ball. Got him one away. Well, that's what you want is efficiency. You always want to try to retire a hitter on three pitches or less. If you can get it with the strikeout, you'll take that too. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Here's the delivery. Gets him to chase that one up and out of the strike zone for strike one. I've well, got to have some confidence in this one. Three hits in the game last night. Must be seeing the ball well. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Up the middle. And that one's down. That's the first hit we've seen. Now Let's see how the Tigers line up on defense. And uh, Steve, individual factors out there. Well, Gerald Laird behind the plate can really cut down the running game. He has that unique three-finger grip when he throws the ball to try to cut down running. And it's Paul Canerco now. Runner at first with one down. Here's the pitch. That's it foul by Canerco. Oh one Verlander kicks and deal. Strike two no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. A big part of the offense in last night's game with four hits. They'd love to see it again today. Over to second for one. And they turn the double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. First chance for the Tigers coming up. And it'll be Jared Washburn doing the pitcher. He gets settled in for Chicago. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be against this Detroit powerhouse? Well, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of his game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. And in settles in for the first pitch. Shots him out with a cut fastball for a strike. His career average and even 300 against Jared Washburn. And with two strikes on him, now in, she'll protect the strike zone. Oh, Fastball is up high, and it's one and two. And the one two delivery from Washburn. Brandon Inge misses, and he's gone. Strike three. That's pitch has a little life to it at 84, and the gun is a pretty good move. We well, just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. 
John thought the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. And Carlos Guillen up. Here's the pitch. Here's an off speed pitch in there for strike one. A very effective pitch. The change up painting the outside corner. Now you can go back hard in or go soft away again. And Carlos Guillen looks at that one for a ball. That'll even it up. A two seam fastball, such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his other pitches. That one's drilled to short. So Guillen is set down. Sponsored by Pepsi, a chance to check out the Tigers' line. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, you know, when you look at a lineup and how it's constructed, we always look at it, so how does he hit? But let's take a look at Brandon Inge and what he can do defensively. Even if he's not swinging the bat, he's one of the best third basemen in baseball. And watch him take a ball down the line and watch that cannon of an arm. He can really put it on you. And Miguel Cabrera to bat. Three for seven career batter off Jared Washburn. He swings, hits a ball to right field. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. And it'll be the White Sox. Cleanup batter, you'll have next. We're at Comerica Park and enjoying this great evening along with you with Major League Baseball. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Now, if you're watching the ball game last night, you saw him pick up a couple of RBIs. Right it's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Verlander with a delivery. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spot. Throw that change up away. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches. Up, down. See you later. He's already back at the bench. And Beckham's in the box. One out, nobody on. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And he can't run it down. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. And he's in at second with a double, one out. Well, he finds a pitch he can drive, and his hands just fly through the strike zone. Perfect execution at the plate, and he's in scoring position with just one out. Here's Alex Rios now, RBI chance. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Swing and a hot shot, and he holds the runner at second. Well, sometimes it's about the fundamentals. Sometimes, though, it's about a flare for the dramatic. Well, good, solid, fundamental, flary baseball, huh? Chance to drive it around. A.J. Pierzynski, one of the best batting averages in the league. Two outs and a runner on second. Good idea. He's back in there safely. Strike, strike one. Verlander gets the strike for the swing. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Good eye by A.J. Pierzynski. Lays off that one. An even count. He's got a 296 career batting average against the Tigers. Right Swing and a miss on a ball off the plate. Ball and two strikes. Well, his last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't out. come up with a triple. And A.J. Przinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. You see a good inning there from Justin Verlander. He emerges from the first two innings on scape, and it's time now to move to the bottom half of the second. Heart of the order, due to bat next. And Maglio Ordonez to lead it off. Number 30, 
Maglio Ordonez. Now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Now that he's gotten the four-seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. Swung on and a ground to first. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. It's Rayburn at the plate. Base is empty, one out. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. No balls, one strike, Washburn. This is that fastball already 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. If you're, he's not messing around, going right out on the 0-2 count. He didn't waste anything. He just went right for the juggler. Two outs, space is empty. Washburn set and delivers. Flied to right. And that one's down. That's the team's first hit. Well, you got to love to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the plate. Larish at the plate. Runner on first, two away. Washburn set and delivers. Hot shot towards the hole. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Getting it done once again, Jared Washburn. He's off to a commanding start. And it'll be the white side. Leading it off, Joe Creedy. Third base, number 29, Joe Creedy. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike for the swing. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Here's a swing and a fly ball. Oh. It is foul and just that close to being a homer. You're out. Joe Creedy comes up empty. A swing, no contact. Well, you like to see a pitcher strike guys out. You like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a domination in that effort by the pitcher. And Jim Tomey right there in the top five in home runs. Seems a little early that time. 0 and 1. Here it comes. And he leaves that pitch alone. Jim Tomey with patience evens the count. Over his career going 291 off Detroit. And here's a swing and a miss. He couldn't get that one. One and two. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just You're couldn't out. come up with a triple. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in K Cam. Get a better look. He decides to take a hack at a pitch up and away, but he just couldn't put the barrel on it. Nice piece of pitching right there, John. Well, it certainly was. You got to give him credit to the pitcher for giving him something eye level to chase at. And it's Johnny Damon now. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Hit sharply towards the hole. And they will tag him out, and the side is retired. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. We're scoreless in Detroit. We'll be looking to the leadoff batter later on in this inning, another AB. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Clark and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. It's layered at plate. Washburn set and delivered. Just missed that one for strike one. He delivers. Hit on the ground towards second. Beckham. Retiring layer. And a chance now to see where the Tigers sit in the American League rankings. Eighth in home runs. There were tenth in strikeouts. 
And you see the pitching numbers right there. The ERA numbers not where they'd like them to be. And that's a major, major deficit when it comes to trying to win ball games. You need good pitching. Nobody on base, one away. Swings at that breaking ball, but misses. It's 0 and 1. Head up the middle. Back up. Two down. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw, the key part of it is footwork, and he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. Base is empty with two outs. Now Przinski positions himself. The fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. This is the go to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. You're out. And in, swinging through it, strike three. Nothing doing here in this half inning. The Tigers can't get the offense going. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. Swung out and miss. Verlander gets it in. Pitch on the way. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, they've got a couple of hits here, and we're into the fourth inning, so they maybe they're starting to get something going in the second time through the lineup. Maybe they'll try to figure something out here. One down. This ball scorched right at the second baseman, but he showed quick reflexes to be able to make the play. One out, base is empty. Here's the delivery. He's up for that first pitch and misses 0 and 1. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it. He's got no chance to hit it. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Panerko now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, you can tell by that approach. He was looking for that fastball. He got it, but still out in front. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Here's the delivery. And Quinton watches that one go by, and the count is even. He has gone six for 20. That's a 300 average over his career against Verlander. 1-1 one, one pitch is a circle change. That hits the target. One and two. Well, the change up right there hit a good spot. You want to keep that down in the zone, so even if they swing at it, it stays in the ballpark. Oh, yeah. And it remains one and two. Here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down smoothly. A kick cam registers 87 miles per hour with very little break. But you know, you don't have to get every strikeout with heat, and he showed you how you can do it with those last two pitches. Well, that's a great piece of pitching with a changeup right there on that sequence. Runner on second and two outs. And the first pitch. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike for the swing. Couldn't pull the trigger in time. He's behind 0-2. Oh, he fooled him right there. That two-seam fastball has to be down in the zone to be effective, but it looked like he was looking for a different pitch. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. We're scoreless in Detroit. It'll be batters two through four do up next. And Carlos Guillen up. Number nine. 
First pitch, A.B. begins to Gian. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. A oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. No balls, one strike, Washburn. Oh. And this is bounced foul to the left side. The pitch. There's a swing and a liner. And that's going to be a base hit for Guillen. That will bring Miguel Cabrera up. Let's look at the Central Division standings courtesy of State Farm. We begin the final stretch. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before. And now they're doing everything right. Washburn set and delivered. Looked like the cutter that time for a call strike. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Here's a swing and a line drive. One. On to first. Safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. You no, know they wanted to. So with one down, it'll be Maglio Ordonia. Career average 337 off the whites back up the middle and he's got it oh. and that will retire Odonia. Too late and he is safe at second. Well, Gary he had thoughts about wheeling and going to second base right there but instead just went the first to get the sure out. Two outs and a runner on second. Here's the first pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So Jared Washburn holding those runs out. He's been shutting them out through four. Dual shutout. Four complete at Comerica Park. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. He's watched some great deliveries on the mound. Struggling bats, though. Important now to get the offense stinging. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. He's a big... Home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. And he starts Rios out. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike for the swing. Oh, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really the guy leading this team's offense and some kind of offensive production. That's a strike, and it's 0 2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going with only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. But good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? It's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. And Cabrera gloves that one. And it's Joe Creedy now. Joe Creedy. Two outs, space is empty. First pitch to Creedy. There's a swing and a line drive. And Everett puts that away to retire the side. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. Detroit still hosting the shutout. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. It's going to be Santiago now. He'll lead off for the home team here in the home half of the fifth. First pitch to him. Hit sharply towards the hole. And it gets through two for two. Late season baseball. Here's what the White Sox have coming up. Thursday they wrap up this Detroit series. They'll get a homestand started against the Royals. Boy have they been rolling. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then a home series facing the Twins, and they feature Denard Span. That's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. So, a lot of home games to look forward to. Larish at the plate. Runner on first base, nobody out. Here's the pitch. That one misses, it gets away from the catcher. He throws, and he's safely aboard, second base.
The 1-0 pitch. Up the middle. And he looks that runner back to second base. You know something that was such a great play. That's worth one more look. How about the camera work right there on that one? Terrific job, guys, on the camera. And what a play. It's layered of light. I saw the ball well last night, picking up two base hits in that game. Now the first pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Ball. And Gerald Laird looks at that one for a ball. That'll even up the count. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. 1-1 one -one pitch is a circle change. That hits the target. One and two. Well, this may be a setup pitch right here. Soft up and in. Now let's see if they go hard away. Line drive. Back I'm able to pull that Heading one in. Up to the plate for the Detroit Tuckers. Shortstop. And Number it's four, Everett batting. Adam Everett. She's flopping. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's the first pitch. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. That one right through the defense. A base hit. He's around third, heading for the plate. And the run gets in. And Everett's going to try to stretch it. And not in time. He's safe. Well, the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. A productive hit right there. See the impact on our Pepsi WPA graph. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing down there. But I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And he'll step on first to retire the side. The markings of a shutout going no longer. The drought ended with that run. The Tigers lead one to nothing. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. 0 for 1 thus far. Hitter, number 27, Jim Tomey. Verlander with a delivery. That's low and outside. 1 0. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. We know they... This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Guillen will field as he gets to it for the up. Here we have a look at the teams getting on base the most often for the month. Brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox number one. Second, the Mariners. The Orioles third. Jays fourth. And it's the Yankees number five. And it's Johnny Damon. What a year for him. Top five in homers. Base is empty. One out. Now Laird sets the target. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike for the swing. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Hit up the middle. And he gets it through. That's his second hit in the ballgame. Paul Canerco. Well, Alexi Ramirez's First season base. so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks Paul compared to everybody Ramirez. else. Second double, third most in hits. Uh, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. He's the league leader in ribbies. Verlander catches him looking. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. End of this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. Solid innings end up in a solid game. Justin Verlander's doing that. He has pushed his strikeout totals into double digits. Next up, Tigers. And Carlos Guillen. He's going to lead off out of half of the sixth inning. 
Carlos. Here's the first one. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Over his lifetime, 293 off Jared Washburn. Line towards first. And Conerco makes the catch. Well, he got a good piece of this one, hitting a shot toward first base, but first baseman is there for the out. A smash to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Now first base is so good hands and good feet. Making the play there and taking it easily himself. Washburn sent and delivers. Back up. Throws to first side is retired. No hits, nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. Tigers won. The White Sox number. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He'll lead off the seventh inning. Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. Swings at that first delivery. Curveball by him on one. A tremendous effort out on the mound in this one. We're deep into the ball game. I mean, we're getting close to the end of this one. They've... There's contact. He drove it well. And Rayburn. No problem for him as he gets that out. For the Chicago White Sox. Second base. And Beckham's in the box. One for two in the ball game. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. There's a swing. A ball hit high and deep. Straight away left field. And gone. A home run. And the shutout is finally broken. Uh, just a shame to see the shutout broken up right there, Gary. But still, just a tremendous performance today. Uh, Gary, really important for the Sox right there to tie this up. Now if Chicago can get a big hit. They've got a chance to take the lead. And he starts Rios out. There's a swing and a smash. And Rayburn. As he holds it in. Let's take a chance now and take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings of the American League. First in doubles. First in batting average. And they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. Oh! Justin Verlander gets the head on the count. Tough to hit against him now. 0-2. Oh, look at that big 12-6 breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch for any hitter to stay back on. Out in front, swinging early. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. So they pick up a run on the home run and pull even. We're tied up here in Detroit. It's Rayburn at the plate. Number 25, Ryan Rayburn. Washburn set and delivered. Called strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Lays off that fastball, and it's 0 and 2. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out one away. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four seam fastball in KK. He takes a cut on this pitch down and in in the zone, but just unable to pick it up. You like his aggression on that? Well, Skipper can't be too mad as long as he's out there trying to make something happen. Watches a fastball that's in there, 0 and 1. Better to go after the fastball when a guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down to the zone, you've got to swing at that. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. And it holds at 0 and 2.
Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Over to Canerco. Two away. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. First pitch to him. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. A swing line to left center. And he's on. That's the go-ahead run. And fans, there's more baseball coming this Friday. It'll be Alex Rodriguez and the New York Yankees. They find themselves at the Rangers ballpark in Arlington to take on Texas. Start time is 8 o'clock Eastern. It's layered at the plate. 0 for 2 thus far. Two outs and a man on first. Now the first pitch. Looked like the circle change, and it just misses. 1 and 0. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. Line drive. Throws the second. That'll be a force out and the third out. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. Quality pitching all around. A great duel. And it'll be the White Sox. Jimmy Leland looking on. And you can feel the hunger building up right now. First and foremost on his mind is getting out of this tie game and getting a lead. Leading it off, Joe Creedy. Lined out last time up. Verlander with the delivery. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, a lot of times, movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here, the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. And that is in there, the go-ahead run on base. Now Every ball club's got to have some power. Let's right check out the league's top home run hitters brought to you by State Farm. Well, it's such an asset to an offense when you hit the ball out of the ballpark, and these guys are clearly so important to their team. That ability to drive in a run from first base or to drive yourself in from the plate. Now, Jim, tell me. Gary, I'm looking to pinch run right here. You don't have much speed at first base. You got a tie ball game. I'm looking to get somebody in there to get a scoring position. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Here it comes. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right out. Able to set him down there. Chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. Boy, uh, those strikeouts so important coming late in the ball game. It keeps that confidence up. Well, they tell you that strikeouts add to the pitch count, but a three-pitch strikeout right there, he can go forever on that one. Here is Johnny Damon. One out man on first. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swing and a shot to third. Gets one. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. We get a moment to take a look at the extra base hit leaders around the league. Brought to you by State Farm. So Alexei Ramirez is batting. Two outs and a man on first. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. First pitch is outside, 1 0. Pazos, and now the 1 0. Now swing and a shot toward second. And it's in time from his knees to get the out. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. They're still deadlocked here in Detroit. And it's Everett batting. Last time up, triple homer run. Number four, Adam Everett. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Washburn set and delivered. 0-1 is a circle change that's over for a called strike. This is why changing speeds is so important for a pitcher. You get the hitter off balance even more effective when it's down in the zone. Hit up the middle. It gets through. Go ahead, run on base. 
Let's check out the American League wildcard race brought to you by State Farm. We're here in the home stretch of the season, first week of September. Mariners in first place, Yankees in second place, third, the Royals, fourth belongs to the Orioles, fifth place, the Rays, and it's the Blue Jays last. Well, wildcard teams have had amazing success with this one's grounded hard up the middle. There's one and two. They got both of them that time. And that one's got to be a candidate for play of the week, Steve. Well, you talk about shifting momentum. You get the ground ball double play, and all of a sudden, you're back in the dugout ready to hit. And it's Carlos Guillen in the box now. Lined out in his last at bat. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. Plays off the called strike of the knees, 0-1. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Oh. Ian will foul that one away. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And he's on. That's the go ahead run. Ian keeps running. A look at the teams with the lowest ERA for the month, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. Rays in second. In third, the Rangers. Fourth, the Angels. And fifth best, the A. We take a look at these pitching staffs and how successful they've been limiting the opposition in runs scored. And that can go a long way to helping a team win. And he starts Cabrera out. Cutter just misses. 1 0. Here's the 1 0. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Fastball, call the ball, though, to a one. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out, that two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. And he gets it down after coming up empty in this ball game. Finally gets one going this way. And he scores, and the tie is broken. They take the lead. We'll see what the RBI means for their win chances. Our Pepsi WPA grab. Now it's Maglio Ordonia. I always hope you can get this offense going late in the ball game. They have, and they've got a lead. Well, they were given an opening, and they took it. And now they have a lead late in the game. first with two outs. And Ordonia settles in first pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Steve will keep an eye on the bullpen. We'll expect to see that closer getting up and getting ready to come into the ball game. Well that's right but you want to give your closer some insurance. Give him some margin for error. So look for this guy to try to come up with a big hit to tack on to this lead. And Maglio Ordonez goes down swinging. Strike three. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. The Tigers, they've gained the upper hand here. And the three hole will be coming right up. Look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. This is where his experience comes in. It's so important. One run they need here. His responsibility to give his team the best chance of getting it. And Paul Kodarko to lead it off. And we'll get to see Jose Belverde pitching as they make the pitching swap. There's a swing. A ball hit high, deep, straight away left. Goodbye, home run. And they're happy to tie that one up. Back to an even ball game with that solo shot. Take a look at how that home run affected things. Our Pepsi WPA chart. 
This is what the quote-unquote baseball players are made of. They come up with a big hit in the crucial situation. He got it done. And Steve, we talk about bearing down. That's what you do at this point of the game, and he did. Well, that's exactly right. Now they need the rest of the lineup to do the play. Joel Zamaya is going to be pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, in the late innings, now it's time for the managers to match wits to see who can best utilize his bench and his bullpen to win this game. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. And swing and a miss on Zamaya's pitch 0 and 1. Steve, they have done it. They've gotten themselves right where they wanted to be, giving themselves a chance to win it with a tie game. Well, and the home run just quiets everybody. It, it's like a punch in the gut to the fans, to the players, to the managers. Celebration on the other side of the field. Line drive. Well, Quinton is retired. The Tigers' schedule looks like this. Thursday, they will finish up the Chicago series. Their homestand continues with another team, the Baltimore Orioles. That's a three-game series. After that, they meet up with Ian Kensler and the always difficult Rangers, a team that will definitely give them a competitive series. And Beckham's in the box. He homered earlier in the ball game. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Career batting average 244 against the Tigers. Hit hard to second. Santiago. That's two gone. Better fielder. Number 51. Alex Rios has been in these situations before and got the job done. Let's see if he can get it done again. Well, we're in the top half of the last inning. This ball game tied up, so the potential ball is blasted on a long high drive deep to center field. And gone! A home run! That could be the game winner. That's a huge hit for this team. It puts them ahead here in the night. Well, you can't ask for a bigger hit at a more important time than that one. Well, no question about it. Now they've got a chance to put this one in the win column, but it's not over yet. It's going to be Przinski. Now swinging a shot towards second. Throws on the first side is retired. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Frank. It's Rayburn at the plate. And the first pitch. And that's in there. Jenks ahead on one. You got to force him to earn it right now. I think you've got to throw strikes, Gary. No free passes. No hit by pitches. Don't pitch him inside. Throw away. You don't want to leak one inside to give up a home run. And that's going to be a base hit. Time run is on. A nice piece of hit right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind it. It's going to be Santiago now. Grounded out his last time up. Jenks with a delivery up the middle. Picks it up. Over to Canerco. That's one away. Too late, and he is safe at second. Well, offensively right now, you've got to force the issue. You're running out of time. You've got two outs left in this game, Gary. And I think that from the managerial perspective, he's got to think about putting runners in motion if he gets them on to try to make something happen. First pitch. And that's in there. Jenks ahead on one. I did not swing at that pitch. I mean, he throws your fastball right down the middle. you got to be ready when you get your pitch to deliver. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. Two away. Now you know what you're one out away from victory in a very well played close ball game right here. Listen, you'll take a one run win is just as good as a ten run win. Well, things start to heat up. Gerald Laird realizes a lot of pressure on this at bat. It's not just about defense. He's got to have to deliver. Lined up the middle, and he's on the potential winning run. Get ready. And that's in. They're able to tie it up. 
So now the Pepsi WPA graph will show us the difference that run batted in there. Well, the pitcher comes in thinking he's going to close this one out and makes a bad pitch, and he pays for it. Now he has to shut him down and try to give his offense a chance to come back and win it. The 0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. You always want to get that first strike in there as a pitcher because now you can execute your plan to put the guy away. Fouled away. Ground ball. Beckham. Throw in time. Forces him at second for the third out. So they pick up a run on two hits and leave no one on. Extra innings coming up here in Detroit. And it's Joe Creedy now. Trying again here. Just one for three thus far. Number 29, Joe Creedy. First pitch to Creedy. And swing and a miss on Samaya's pitch 0 and 1. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Can't catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0 and 2. Hit hard to second. And Gritty retired. Uh, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact, it's about hard contact. Nobody on base, one away. Zumaya with a windup. Outside as Tomey takes it for a ball. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Now swing and a shot toward second. Gets through, the go-ahead run is on. Santiago. And he's in there easily. Well, when you check the box scores after this game, you're going to see where this ball scored a base hit. Wasn't hit well, not pretty, but he'll take it. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0-1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. You're out. Strike three, Damon, on a swing and a miss, turned away. Well, you like to see your pitcher strike guys out. You like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a domination in that effort by the pitcher. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. And swing and a miss on Zumaya's pitch, 0 and 1. And a swing and a hit ball. It's going to be Ordonez. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. And Brandon Inge at the plate. He'll lead off home half of the 10th. And we'll get to see Tony Pena pitching. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. So, Steve, what's he going to be conscious of now as he looks at this Detroit lineup? When you bring in a guy out of the bullpen, you like to have some power stuff, and that's what Tony Pena brings. Power with that fastball. On the ground to second. Back up. And Andrews retired. Left fielder, number nine. Carlos Guillen. Got a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. Ball. First pitch inside, ball one. The 1 0 now. Lines this one to the left side out of play. Here's the pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. Oh, two down here in the inning. Number now look at this, Gary. Miguel Cabrera Miguel out there. Cabrera. He looks so determined. He loves these RBI situations. Bottom half, extra inning. Potential go-ahead run standing at the plate. Now Gary both got Swing and a shot down the left field line. It's a fair ball headed into the corner for extra bases. And he's in there at second base. 
But with two outs and you get a big double right here, the last thing you want to do is get stranded. You got a little momentum. You got the pitcher on the road. Let's see if they can take advantage. A lot riding on Megley Ordonez's his bat right here. He's an RBI machine. You can just see the determination in his face. And he is batting here late in the game in a crucial spot. Well, you've got a base runner. You don't know if you're going to get another opportunity. The game may be on the line right here. This is the chance at a game-winning RBI. That's it foul by Ordonez. And he looks at the slider in there, and it's one and two now. I don't think you like that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Still one and two. Ordonez battles here with that foul ball. Well, anytime you're behind in a count, and in this case, the one-two count, you have to maintain that focus. You have to really be dialed in. Ground ball, Creedy, and he's got it now. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Will they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score? Marathon continues here in Detroit. something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing, so interesting move. And he starts Canerco out. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter, swung late. Joel Zumeyer for strike two. Now he, let's see if he wastes one here. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. Well, you take a look at the pitch sequence right there. Three straight quality strikes. Well, tight games like this, uh, you get going late. You love to get these outs as quickly as you can. Well, quickly and efficiently, and the best way to do it is a strikeout. No room for error right there. Gets the big one on three pitches. There's a soaring high drive. Deep to left field. Way back there. And gone. A home run. That could be the game winner. Second baseman, number 15, Gordon Beckham. Base is empty with one away. And the first pitch. Right. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over right. anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham. We got a second now to see the four seam fastball in KK1. Alex Rio. They made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sitting on. They've decided it was time to make a change here. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. He's had one hit four times up. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. He deals. A swing, a ball hit high, deep into right field. And it rebounds off the wall. Brief moment to see who's on top in our State Farm League leaderboard in hits. For 12. AJ. A showdown moment in this game right now, Gary, with AJ Brzezinski coming to the plate. He loves these sorts of situations. We'll see if he can get it done right here. And at this point in the ballgame, you'd love to add some more runs on that board. Now just get an insurance run or two to protect your relief pitchers when they come into the game. This could be the put away run or runs. Here's one. Hit very well deep. It's off the wall and a hop. And Rios comes in. Now, coming to back. When you take the lead, you want to keep adding to it. And they add on some more runs here, making it a little bit easier when they go out in the field to close this one out. Hi. Out on the mound, we will see Phil Cope. 
He's been chosen to take over out there. Now it's Joe Creedy. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Oh! Hey, listen, with that hit right there, they've opened up a nice lead for themselves in extra innings. Now they can look to add on, but understand, they've got the lead. It's their game to lose. Because now when you come up and try and get this thing tied up, you got to get somebody on, and then you got to do it again. So that just changes the whole mentality about the extra innings. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Creedy, no contact. Evens the count. Now, Gary, you're right when you talk about mentality. I mean, it changes your whole focus late in extra inning games. The pressure is on. You know trailing in the bottom half of the inning, you're going to have to come through or you're going home or losing. You're Struck out. him out. That'll be out number three. We'll see if their offense now can get going. They pick up a couple to break the tie. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. It's Rayburn at the plate. He singled his last trip. Number 25, Ryan Rayburn. On the way. Oh and one. Fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. Strike Pena two. with a strike two. Good pitch. Ground ball to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. Over to Canerco. One away. Second base. It's going to be Santiago now. Ground out victim last time through. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way. Hit up the middle. What a great snag right there to get the out. Tremendous athletic play. Yeah, Larish. at the plate. He's had one hit four times up. Swung on and fouled away. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. And he gets there in time. Save. But the pitcher did everything he could right here. He got the ground ball like he wanted. But you see this runner, man. Once he left the box, he is flying and he beats this one out. Two outs and a man on first. The first pitch and a grounder is at the last out. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. The offense got it done on the top, and the pitching got it done on the bottom half. And celebration as they head back to the clubhouse. Chance now to present our Pepsi Clutch performer, Paul Canerco. Canerco just made all the difference. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. Couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. And, Steve, they're able to put this one away in the record books. It's a good victory. Hey, anytime you can go on the road and beat another major league team, you've got to consider yourself fortunate. This is Gary Thorne with John Crutch and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time, as good as we did. Then you're all set. See you next time.